It's time for our family budget plan in every dollar for next month using our real numbers. It's like it happens every month. As you all know, this is the budget plan and I film it a little bit before the month actually begins. So it is possible that it's going to change before we actually get into next month. But fingers crossed. It doesn't happen and it stays exactly as planned because we are paying off a crap ton of debt this month and I am so excited we're knocking out another debt we're gonna show you our numbers and how we budget and I'm hoping you can take a little piece of information about that away and strengthen your budgeting muscles is, is it a muscle vein I don't know Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio, my daughter Melina, and I are working every month to pay off over $300,000 worth of debt. By the time you see this, we will have paid off $200,000, actually more than $200,000. I hope please nothing bad happens so I can make this dead payment. <laughs> so let's jump in and go over our numbers. This month, our income is $21,503.98. Oh, I know, it sounds like a lot. It is absolutely a lot. And for some of you, that's probably your total debt payoff. I get that comment a lot, I know. I didn't get a paycheck in all of January. And when I got paid at the very end of January, beginning of February, I put that money into the March budget. So this is actually four paychecks of mine and then two of Mauricio's, plus the money that we hoarded for January. This is the same amount we would have paid off if you added January, February, and now March. It would have been the same amount. So. It's not really that exciting. It just seems big because it's all in one paycheck. In our first planned expense, we have our storage unit because we have a storage unit and all of our stuff is in it because we are living in my parents' house. And yes, say hello. Show everybody your pretty glasses from last year. <laughs> Back on the storage unit. We... We do have a storage unit. This is my parents' furniture. This is not our furniture. Here, let me see if I can show you the room. There's not a lot of furniture in here. There's a TV. That's my parents' TV. That's our TV. Dresser is my parents'. And then we have nightstands next to the bed. When my parents leave, they will obviously take their furniture with them, although I don't I think they're leaving this here that, that I think it's too big for where they're going. So most of their furniture they will be taking with them and, and, or getting rid of, I, I really don't know. We haven't gotten that far in the planning process. So once they're gone, we'll obviously need furniture. So all of our stuff will come out of storage and we will place it all over the house and it'll be lovely. And then you'll see furniture that's my style. So the storage unit is $270 a month. It's a big storage unit. And that's actually really cheap for this area. We got it about, it's like an hour and a half away from here because it's just that much cheaper. So while expensive, still frugal. <laughs> We're not frugal people. In the utilities category, we have our cell phones for $189 a month and our Skype for $20 a month. And last month, several of you asked why we have Skype at all. And here's the situation. Mauricio's mother and sister in Colombia do not have internet. So we can't obviously Skype them for free. We have to call their cell phone. So we use Skype as if it were a regular, you know, phone service. It's actually significantly cheaper than using our cell phones and dialing directly. So it is actually a very wise move to pay $20 for Skype. So in our grocery category, we are back to our normal grocery expenses, our elevated expenses of $650 a month. And the reason for that is Home Chef. I live, eat, and breathe Home Chef. I love it. When we were not doing Home Chef in January and part of February, my parents actually were like, when's the Home Chef coming back? Because the food is so good. And I just really like it. It is not cheap, but it is so helpful to me in having meals planned, knowing that they're meals that my father can cook 
if you know we're coming home late from work i don't have to necessarily worry about throwing something in the crock pot because my dad is you know he he does cook most of the meals at this point his issue is he doesn't like planning them doesn't like preparing them and i was finding that meal planning and meal prepping for that was actually while i enjoyed doing it it was kind of a sunday stressor it it just was a whole process that had to be done. And when I started doing this randomly, it took that stress away. And yes, it is more expensive. And yes, I am aware of that, but I'm okay with it. And everybody in my family is okay with it. And the food is good. So we tried multiple meal services. And one of these days I'll do a video on all the meal delivery services and my takeaways from them. But I haven't done it yet. And then we have $40 in there for school bucks for Melina's lunches when she randomly decides that she is going to buy school lunch. Most of the time she takes her lunch, but like Fridays is pizza day. She always wants to buy her lunch on Fridays. And then in the mornings, if she's hungry after she eats breakfast here, for whatever reason, my child loves second breakfast. <laughs> so frequently she will get another breakfast around 8.30 at school. In the transportation category, we have $100 for gas and and no money for the ABC pass. So the $100 for gas is because Mauricio and I are back to not commuting together the vast majority of the time. In the insurance and tax category, we have $219 for USAA car and renter's insurance. We have $96 for USAA life insurance, which we are about to increase my life insurance significantly. So I expect that amount to double and I don't know if it'll kick in in March or April but I'm currently going through the medical process of upping my life insurance assuming I get approved which there's no reason why I wouldn't get approved but I was having a conversation with a girlfriend and she basically lectured me and said I didn't have enough life insurance I thought I did but I hadn't factored in a few things so I called USAA and we long term we discussed life insurance for like an hour and a half and how much I actually need and I needed about double of what I had based on the loss of my income. So, and we had gotten life insurance for me when I was earning significantly less. So yeah, it was time. So it's good, but it's going to cost more because I'm older, but insurance is one place you should never skim ever, ever. Trust me bad things happen when you skimp on insurance. We have the CMFG life insurance for $12. And then we have Mauricio's life insurance for $35.83. And when I was doing my life insurance review, we did double check Mauricio's life insurance and Mauricio's life insurance we got later. And it's perfectly accurate and in line with how much he earns. So we're good with that. In the health category, the category that is destroying me financially, every month. We have $100 for Mauricio's medicine and $100 for Melina's medicine. Melina has one specialist appointment for $35 and then Melina has to have oral surgery. So Melina has what is known as alien teeth. She doesn't know she's going to have surgery yet. She knows she's been going to special dentists but she doesn't really understand why. So she has these three teeth are still her baby teeth, but she's lost her 12 year old canine. And we're like, what's going on with that? So I was concerned her teeth weren't descending. Well, come to find out she has two teeth that are sitting in prime position to descend, but are not descending because the roots are not forming because there are two teeth directly above it sitting in her palate. So basically what's going to happen is they're going to go in and they're going to remove these three teeth surgically and they're going to remove the two that are up in her palate that are called alien teeth. So yeah, my, my daughter has four front teeth. You know, it's never a good sign when the dentist is looking at your x-rays and goes, huh? Well, I haven't seen that before. It apparently is not a horrifically uncommon thing, but you know, it's par for the course with my medical family. They basically said once they remove the teeth up here, the roots should form fine and then they should descend fine. If not, they'll have to go up and pull them down. And I don't even want to think about that. That just seems horrible. So keep your fingers crossed, pray, do whatever you have to, that this will fix it. I'm not, I'm 
terrified about Melina having anesthesia and having like full surgery. And it's going to cost us a lot of money, but I know it needs to be done, but it just is, it's heartbreaking to me that we're going to have to do this and I don't want to do it. So in the savings category, we have our typical sinking funds. Let's go over them. We have a thousand dollars for a trip to Columbia. We have $200 for summer camp. We have $150 for medical, $100 for car repair replace, $300 for Christmas, $100 for an emergency trip to Columbia, $50 for miscellaneous school expenses. And we're not funding our emergency fund or our work travel fund because those are both fully funded. So there's a couple of things going on with our sinking funds. And normally in February, I would have already booked Melina's summer camp. But because of the shutdown, I didn't do that. So I'm I'm going to be doing it towards the end of February and the beginning of March. I will be pulling money out of her summer camp sinking fund to pay for certain camps. The big change is the trip to Columbia. So Mauricio and I were talking the other day and, and I happened to look down on his drafting table at his syllabus. And I noticed that his spring break is in March and Melina's spring break is in April, which is why we scheduled the trip to Columbia in April. So it would be over her spring break. And I looked and I went upstairs and I pulled out our plane tickets and I came back down and looked again. And guess what? Mauricio is going to have to miss two classes. And when you only have class one day a week, that's a lot of classes. He will be missing eight hours of class. And we discussed it. And there was so much in this class that he doesn't want to miss. And he really shouldn't. We decided to postpone the trip. So we are going to be postponing the trip to Columbia. We are still saving for it. And I will tell you, there is a potential that this summer I am going to be traveling to Los Angeles. And if that is the case, that's where Melina's godmother lives. So I do want to take Melina and Mauricio with us during the summer. So we're going to continue to save some money on top of that. Because if I have to travel for work, the hotel's already covered and my flight's already covered. So we might as well just tack them on. It's a much cheaper trip. And then they can go to the beach and hang out and do stuff during the workday. And then we're already there. By the end of March, we will have that trip to Columbia fully funded and it's ready to go. But we're gonna keep saving for a couple more months. We anticipate the trip to Los Angeles will cost, you know, $1,500 or so, depending on how far in advance I know we're gonna go. And again, it's gonna be cost prohibitive. If, if it's too expensive, we're not gonna do it. In the lifestyle category, we have our iTunes for $36, which is 35, 80, 98 or something like that. I have Audible back in, so we're back to Audible. I am very excited. I turned off that for two months during the shutdown and I missed it. I really missed it. So I wasn't able to read the book for March for the book club, that's okay because I actually had something else I had to do the night we were going to meet, so it was no big deal. And then we have $3.99 for Amazon Music. In the Melina category, we have Before and After Care for $608, like we always do. We have Swimming Lessons for $99. We have Spanish Classes for $280. We have Miscellaneous School Expenses for $10. And we are putting her in a online study program. In our cash category, we have our typical $200 a month for blow money, $25 for Mauricio's haircut, which is $20 for the haircut and $5 for the tip, $100 for the dry cleaning pile from hell. Because, oh my God, it's like this high. Okay, really, it's, it, you can't see, but it's like, it's high. Is right on the other side of this wall and, and it's like almost up to my knees. And then $20 for Sally Beauty. In the YouTube category, we have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $9 for Morning Fame, and $400 for a photographer. So why is this in the YouTube category, you ask? because I am currently in the process of building a website. And so I'm making a list of pictures that I need to match up with the website. And so we're gonna use this photographer to get those pictures and it's gonna be lovely. I am super excited about this website. So if you wanna put your name on the mailing list for the website, it's wendyvalencia.com. I'll put a link down in the description box. You can go ahead and add your email list on that page 
And when this site goes live, I will notify you. I plan on doing a one post or maybe two a week completely separate from my YouTube channel. And so if you are interested in that, go ahead and head on over and sign up and I will notify you when it goes live. I am aiming for this summer. I'm hoping I get there before then, but I'm doing the whole thing myself and it's kind of overwhelming. I am in awe of anybody who has ever built their own website. In the work expenses category, we have no money for parking because Mauricio is getting free parking. Now he has found a place to park for free and he parks there pretty much every day. So we have stopped budgeting for parking. So, so I should actually just take this out of the budget. In the online shopping category, we have a hundred dollars for online shopping cause yeah, we're going to spend it. So let's go ahead and plan for it. And then remember back in December, I was talking kind of uncomfortably about needing a female support type undergarment. Well, I never got that because you know, shut down. I don't know. I think you may have heard the government shut down and we stopped spending money. So I am finally going to be able to get that. Thank goodness. Cause it was getting ugly. And in the cushion category, we have a hundred dollars and we put that in there every month because stuff comes up. And I don't want to screw up my budget because I hadn't planned for it. And in the giving category, we have $1,925 that we are giving this month. And the best, the very, 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 very best part of this month's budget is our debt payment. This month, we are paying $12,889.71 to debt. That's a lot of cash. So the way we're breaking it down is first we're going to pay off our visa. So we are going to be paying off another debt in March. I am so excited. You have no idea. It's about $7,200 on the credit card. And then that will be completely paid off. And then we will be going ahead and paying off. It's uh, about 4,300 ish onto the car which is our next debt and that will bring us down under seven thousand dollars on our car so the plan is to have the car paid off in may fingers crossed that's that's a, a tight push for us but i think we can do it and then we have our our standard payment to our usaa loan and then to Mauricio's school loan as well so i'll see you in the next one see ya we're out